G'day, my name's Seb. Thank you for checking us out at Modern Native. This is the story of how I became engaged with rewilding as an underlying philosophy for peak health. I'm a chiropractor. I build a practice in Perth and have been treating patients for over the 10 years. Um, I've also done some teaching at Murdoch University. Chiropractic is a five-year medical course focused on neuromusculoskeletal health. In practice, I see a spectrum of patients from those with pretty poor lifestyle who are sick and in pain and just looking for symptomatic relief through to um, elite athletes that are on a journey to fine tune their body and mind. The comparative lifestyles and outcomes of each end of that spectrum are very much in my face every day. And seeing that day in day out for 10 years has always fueled my quest to seek a active body and mind for myself as well. But even as a passionate health professional, I was still confused about how to do that. The problem is that in a lot of ways, health is taught to our teachers by industry. For example, foot biomechanics are taught either directly or indirectly by orthotic companies selling orthotics. We are taught the best sleeping posture through bedding companies selling pillows and mattresses. The list goes on, so how do we filter through all this information to find out what components are actually useful and what's not? As a new grad, when a patient came to me with pronated feet, I prescribed orthotics to correct their arch. But if you ask me why I prescribed those orthotics at the time, the answer would have been, well, because that's just what I was taught in uni would fix their pain. And because if I sell them some orthotics, I make an extra 50 bucks. I now completely disagree with how that system is used. And unfortunately, it spans the entire medical and allied health field. Over the years, my health and fitness routine has continuously evolved and changed. Many factors led me to experiment with different types of routines, which led me to where I'm at today. To summarize it though, I used to go to the gym and lift weights and run the same four to 10 kilometer course with my shoes on through the suburbs where I was living at the time. But I can tell you now, that sort of regime, while it has its benefits, can get boring and leads to repetitive strain, injuries and muscle imbalances. Anyways, I moved from there to a more outdoor boot camp type of regime, which did offer a little bit more variety, but still had a lot of repetition. From there, my brother Adrian and I moved to a self-directed routine we called Farm Fitness. The concept was based on the idea that farmers back in the day were fit and strong just from working their farms. So we sort of mixed in a bunch of actual farm jobs as well as also some still structured exercises. And at the time, it felt like a much more natural way to build strength. The big turning point though was when we met Steve from Wild Movement. We went to check out his nature playground style of gym and he introduced us to natural movement and rewilding. What he was teaching was movement based on how we as humans were moving purely as part of life for millions of years before farming. Agriculture only happened 10,000 years ago. So our current physical form was essentially sculpted by this type of movement. It's movement that we're literally designed for. Steve also helped us come to realize that movement wasn't the only pillar of health that had substantially changed since agriculture and more recently industrialization. And that our ancestral evolution could be looked to for answers to questions about nutrition and sleep, elemental exposure and so on. Once I'd made this discovery, I began listening to others on this path and I realized I had found an underlying philosophy spanning all things health that just made sense to me and didn't require any leaps of faith. This also led me to realize at the time that my lifestyle, like a lot of people around me, didn't allow enough time in the day to truly be healthy. After seeing some significant health events in young people close to me, I decided to do something about it before I ended up on that same path. So after a few years of planning, I sold my chiropractic business to buy this yacht, which I now live on, and which allows me a lifestyle much more congruent with the chop wood, carry water, or build health simply by living simply mentality. And that journey is a story for another time. But anyways, I hope you can see that I'm passionate about this philosophy and welcome anyone who wants to learn more to come and join us at Modern Native.